We've got quite the big video today. This is absolutely insane. This is a total game changer. Now, if you guys know, I have a Discord server for this YouTube channel. We've got about 12,000 members. It's a really awesome community. We discuss the latest and greatest in AI. We share our creations. And last night, we discovered a little something about Dolly 3. Essentially, we discovered how anyone can get access to Dolly 3. This is crazy. <laughs> And oh yeah, by the way, it is completely free because you get access through Bing Image Creator, which previously housed the upgraded version of Dolly 2, what a lot of people call Dolly 2.5. Dolly 3 is absolutely insane, and after all the testing that several users on my Discord have done once they got access, yeah, it's verified. This is easily the most insane, the best AI image generator ever. Like, hands down, every single generation that comes out of this thing is better than like anything I've ever seen from any other AI image generator before. And we will be taking a look at some of the best examples from my Discord server thus far. But first, let's talk about how to get you access to Dolly 3 for completely free right now. So here is the rundown. What you're looking at is Claude 2 organizing the chat log from my Discord server where this was discovered. So multiple people in my server discovered this sort of at the same time. It was a lot of experimentation of different users to figure out exactly what was happening. But essentially, yes, you can gain access right now to Dolly 3 via Bing Image Creator. You'll get 1024 by 1024 images, and we know that Dolly 3 is capable of more in the chat GPT method, but no one really seems to be getting access to that yet. But people are definitely getting access via Bing Image Creator. It hasn't really been officially rolled out to everyone yet. Here's how we sort of fuzzed the system, so to speak. So what you want to do is log into Bing Image Creator through your Microsoft account using different web browsers browsers, especially more obscure ones like Brave or Firefox. So if you're on a Windows machine like me, let's say you'll start off with Microsoft Edge, you'll move on to Google Chrome, then you can download Brave or Firefox and log in there. And hopefully one of those times you will end up getting access to Dolly 3. And we'll talk about how to test if it's Dolly 3 as well. Me personally, I didn't get access through Brave, Chrome or Edge. It was Firefox that did the trick. People also mentioned that clearing your cookies slash cache and reinstalling the Bing app were also something that might work for you. It really seems to be like this works based off of cookies and when you get fresh cookies, you just have a chance at getting Dolly 3. But some people did get access through mobile apps, but not on desktop, while others had the opposite experience. So this is all very inconsistent. I just recommend you try everything until you eventually do get access. And quite a few of us did get access, so I believe that this will work for you given it enough times. By the way, there was no clear single person who discovered this trick. It was sort of pieced together collectively through trial and error over time. Yeah, leading theories here are browser slash cookie install IDs rather than based off of account. It's definitely not based off of account because I logged in with the same account on all of my browsers and I got access through Firefox. But yeah, this should just be an ad as to why you should join my Discord server because our community is popping and we discover stuff like this. I'll link a bunch of browsers down below if you want to install them a little bit easier and quicker. But let's jump into how to actually actually tell if you do have access to Dolly 3 through Bing Image Creator. So welcome, welcome everyone to Bing Image Creator. I will link this down below for easy access. Every time you log in with one of those new browsers or new apps on your phone, and by the way, yes, you do need a Microsoft account. So this is your Xbox account, Outlook account, whatever it might be. You can use the same account every time you log in. But once you get to this site, you're going to want to type in a prompt that has complicated text that Dolly 2.5 could never generate. So we'll use the example here, photo of SpongeBob holding a sign that says subscribe to Matt Vidpro AI, and we will create that. If it just gives you jarbled text in that scenario, then you didn't get access to Dolly 3 yet, unfortunately. But if the text comes out clear and beautiful, then you absolutely have access to Dolly 3. This is absolutely Dolly 3. It gets subscribed to Matt Vidpro almost correct every single time. It will be very illegible if it is not Dolly 3. Oh, and by the way, take a look at these SpongeBob characters we did just generate. Better than most SpongeBobs generated by AI art image generators, I'm sure you can recognize. And yeah, that's just one of the many, many capabilities that Dolly 3 has. This model is so powerful, it's hard to quantify, like honestly. So yeah, that's the tip to get access if it does end up working for you. I suggest 
suggest you come back and watch the rest of this video, as well as drop a like down below and join the Discord server. Install various browsers and continuously log in with the same account until you get access to Dolly 3, and that's pretty much it. It took me about four tries. Now, let's take a good look at what Dolly 3 is truly capable of. This thing is an absolute beast. One thing I do want to mention here, the Dolly 3 that you're getting access to through Bing Image Creator, I believe is just pinging the Dolly 3 API that OpenAI is going to release later and isn't necessarily the same exact Dolly 3 that you're going to get inside of ChatGPT because it can't generate in any other aspect ratios other than one by one. And obviously it doesn't have that auto prompting that's going to come with ChatGPT integration. It still is an incredibly capable model. Like either way, this is better than anything else we've ever seen. Every day you get a hundred boosts and then your images start to slow down for generation. It kind of puts you in a queue, but you do have unlimited free image generation through Bing Image Creator. Let's go ahead and start off with a classic lemon prompt. Why not? 3D render of a cute lemon character relaxing on the beach. He is sipping on a tropical drink. There is a speech bubble that reads, don't worry, it's not lemonade. We'll click create. So far, every single generation that this thing has produced has blown my mind. And here it is, here we go. It's, it's, this is the kind of stuff, guys. This is the kind of stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, take a look at this one. This is, I think, the best out of the bunch. Don't worry, it's not lemonade. You can see it's still very high resolution. The detail here is insane. I've never seen an AI image generation model produce this much detail. The images that are produced out of Bing Image Creator are a little bit more compressed, but that's not Dolly 3's fault. That's Bing Image Creator's fault. But you can see perfect legible text in a very nice font. The whole scene is a 3D render, as I described. It's essentially perfect. He's got his tropical drink. He's relaxing on the beach. I mean, it's just... I don't, I have no words. I have no words. Almost perfect. We have don't worry it's not, but no lemonade. This one says don't worry lemonade, and he is clearly sipping on lemonade. Check out that drink, but still very nice. And this one got a little bit screwed up here. It says don't worry it's lemonade, but overall these generations are better than anything you'd get out of any other AI image generator. You wouldn't get any legible text other than maybe ideogram, and yeah, the style and the detail is absolutely without a doubt there. This thing is nuts. In a little bit, we're going to get a true idea of the Dolly 3 power because my community has been generating like crazy and really stress testing it. I'll say it right now. This thing is capable of blood and gore. It's capable of generating famous characters. It's super powerful and surprisingly unrestricted. Let's try some basic photography. This is something that Midjourney absolutely excels at and is really unbeatable. Close-up photo of a tabby cat in a police uniform stock photo. In the photography department, Dolly 3 is far from being a slouch. Usually on AI models, the whiskers of cats that are being generated kind of have some fuzzy weirdness to them, but they look very, very nice inside of Dolly 3. Police obviously spelt correct and the whole uniform looks quite good. Again, and police spelt completely correct. The cat looks very photorealistic. There's nothing really too AI generated about this photo at all. It looks very much real. And this is not really the best generation. And also the, the mouth here is a little bit creepy. Finally, I think this one is easily the best of the bunch. It looks the most real. I mean, almost indistinguishable from an actual photo, right? Maybe just a little bit of like texturing weirdness going on with the fur, but the whiskers for the most part are completely straight. You can see this one got a little bit screwed up, but police spelt completely correct and the badge and everything. It looks phenomenal. Now, one thing about AI art models is that they require you to learn prompt crafting. And Midjourney sort of solved this in a way because with Midjourney you could just type like three words in and you'd always get something beautiful and amazing. And you definitely could never do that with Dolly 2 or Dolly 2.5 and Stable Diffusion also did not work well without a nice complex beefy prompt. I'm happy to report that Dolly 3 is, I mean, among the best in this. It is phenomenal. You can just type something really small in and it will generate great images. Let's do something difficult too. Let's do frog meme and just see what happens. Two word prompt for this, two words. And check this out, guys. It actually made an image with text that is not even included in the prompt. Have you ever seen anything like this? This is nuts. Interestingly enough, they all have the same exact meme or quote, but either way, it did a good job. It did frog meme. That is absolutely what that is. It says, it's Monday. I hate everything. He's holding his coffee. He's in a business suit. Like, look at the detail you're getting out of this. 
right out of the box with two words. I mean, if you guys really need a comparison to something like Mid Journey to prove this, let's go ahead and do a quick comparison, but I promise you that this Dolly 3 is, is pretty much better than anything out there in every single use case. This right here is frog meme in Mid Journey, and I mean, the images are all nice, but they definitely aren't frog memes, really. They're just images of frogs. Dolly 3 is a true Mid Journey killer, like absolutely. Mid Journey is going to have to pull a serious rabbit out of their hat if they want to keep up with something like this. And, you know, SDXL, let's be honest, it has the ability to do things Dolly 3 can't because it's open source. You can run it on your own machine, you can add LoRa's, etc, etc. So, the way I see it right now, SDXL has way more survivability than Mid Journey just because Dolly 3 is not open source. Anyways, let's continue on here. Let's try a one-word prompt. Let's do dream as our word, and we'll click create and see just what it can get up to with one word. As you can see, it includes that word in its prompt and gives you something detailed and completely beautiful. This is the kind of power that we've been craving. Like when I tell you that no one want, like is even thinking about using another AI art image generator after getting access to this. I mean, that is so true because this thing can do it all like it really can. And once it actually gets access inside of chat GPT, that's only going to get more true because it'll be more accessible, easier to generate. You can just ask chat GPT to make you stuff. Oh, and you can see, by the way, my generations got refilled here. So guys, let's go ahead and try that original therapist avocado prompt that kind of made Dolly 3 pop out in the news. The spoon is the therapist here. Everything looks very nice. He's saying, I just feel so empty inside. He's sitting in the uh, the therapist chair. Let's give it a shot inside of Bing Image Creator to see if this is cherry picked. Same exact prompt. And as you can see, we get fairly decent results right off the bat. Maybe there's a little bit of cherry picking going on, but if you guys do remember, this is, I think, pinging the API in that last generation we saw was probably made in chat GPT. Let's do another generation to see how many it takes to get to that same level. This one is nearly perfect here, except for that therapist's chair. And let's roll the dice again. And the spoon is in almost every single one of these, most of which look pretty good. So yeah, that one is definitely a little bit cherry picked. All right, at this point in the video, we're going to start taking a look at some of the insights that have been discovered from my community. They have done a phenomenal job and have really put Dolly 3 through its paces to see what it can get up to. So what you're seeing right now are images created yesterday by the community. As you can see, a bunch of superheroes are depicted in this one. Absolutely can do copyrighted properties. They're no longer just removed from the data set. Peter Griffin, Marvel, all of them essentially. Like, I don't think we've really come across many properties or characters that it didn't know super well unless they were obscure. Oh, and by the way, famous people are also able to be generated, although I did try some famous people and they would be immediately rejected by Bing Image Creator, but apparently somehow you can get around it, probably depending on the famous person. This is Tyler, the creator, eating a, a raw fish. And yeah, the images look very good. Like, the quality is just obviously there with this. This is insane. There he is catching a fish with his bare hand. Here is a nice image if looks could krill. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> He's literally got his little pinchers here and the suit. It all looks actually really nice. Like this looks like a human made thing. Oh my God, it's so good. We've got another variation. The fact that it can do infinite variations of what it is really good at is equally as shocking as making it in the first place. There Tyler, the creator is at the Statue of Liberty and he's all dressed up as well. As you can see, famous shoe brand. It absolutely can do that as well. It's doing some Jordans. Like not only is the brand accurate, look at the logo, but also the shoe looks photo real realistic. Everything looks good. It's not just recognizing the brand. It's putting it all together cohesively, wearing a hat with a specific word on it. Here we go. We've got two characters here. Mario, perfectly depicted, and Walter White, perfectly depicted, hugging it out in like this artistic painting, and it all actually looks really good, like something someone might hang on their wall. Some more text in this really creepy photo, so it can do a wide variety of styles. This is like vintage and grungy. SpongeBob and a lemon kind of being angry at each other. I'm just going to start flying through examples with you guys because I can't stop and explain why each and every one is so impressive, but I think you guys will agree with me. Most AI image generators can't even come close to this. I Heart Bing, Teddy Bear, Painted Brush Format, Sandcastle on the Moon, Giant Mario in Central Park. Check this one out. The prompt was SpongeBob saying, hold my buns. Really nice shirt design. He's holding the buns and such a simple prompt. Here's that classic AI image generation prompt of the bear 
bear confused in calculus. However, this time the bear is much more coherent and it looks a lot better as a generation. A classic avocado armchair, of course, have to include that. Perfect hands being generated right off the bat. They pretty much solved hands with Dolly 3. I'll say that here is Deadpool as if he were in Naruto, combining two different copyrighted properties together. Lightning McQueen, this looks phenomenal. Pixel art coming out decently, although the examples of pixel art we saw from the official Dolly site looked a little bit better. Frogs, need I say more? Some more frogs and some more frogs. Oh, now we got elephants instead, except this is an actual photo of a real sign, it appears. SpongeBob as a wanted poster in the city. We've also got evil SpongeBob. Yeah, the demonic and evil stuff is definitely alive and well in Dolly 3. We'll get to that. Here is someone crying about not getting access to Dolly 3. This is a more of a Midjourney-esque generation. It absolutely can accomplish that same stuff. Here is some rather risque mini from Mickey Mouse and some Mickeys that are fawning over it. Yeah, things are only going to get downhill from here, guys. I'm warning you. This is one hell of a powerful strawberry. An absolutely terrifying photo of a woman who is turning into a cat. I hate this, but I am very impressed that it can, in fact, create it. Thanos, which has classically been a very difficult character for these generators, is very easy. Oh, and his hands are perfect as well. Got some more evil Spongebob. He seems to have turned Mr. Krabs into a Krabby Patty. And then we've also got this lovely image of Spongebob. I'm not sure what the prompt was for this one, but it definitely worked. Oh, and when I say copyrighted properties, I mean all of them. Here is some Monster Energy drink. Looks like we took a slice of the earth and made a pie out of it. How nice. I mean, dude, check out how realistic this one is. All with the copyrighted character, and he's playing basketball. This will show you just how good the SpongeBob truly is inside of Dolly 3, holding up a sign that says Bing rules, even in that same SpongeBob style, and the SpongeBob is nearly perfect. Horrifying flesh apple, Deadpool, and a My Little Pony character sharing a meal. This time it's a little bit more realistic. A realistic, terrifying Five Nights at Freddy's moment here. Some child is being chased for his life. Oh, and it looks like he's about to get him. That is horrifying. Luigi is praying to Jesus. Oh, it looks like Lightning McQueen from Cars is getting married to an anime waifu character. That's just lovely. Five Nights at Freddy's and Elmo together. That's a crossover I wasn't really expecting. Sonic and Sans are chilling out on the couch about to watch a movie together. This is the worst snowman I've ever seen in my whole life. Oh, and it actually got even worse. Even worse. Oh my god. Even worse? Oh my god, I'm pretty sure this is Spongebob and Patrick on D-Day. There's blood on them. This is horrifyingly accurate and realistic. I, I don't know what this says about my community or <laughs> what Dolly 3 can do. This is a little bit risque. This is like a weird zebra woman. Incredibly photorealistic macaw. Look closely at those details. Coherent text and fingers on the hands in a 50s pop art style. Thanos is really enjoying some KFC right now. Thanos and Iron Man are arm wrestling. Who do you think is going to win? Yoda is break dancing and he's really getting it down here. <laughs> Crazy detailed and consistent. As we saw earlier, it absolutely understands memes, something we really haven't seen in an AI image generator. Squidward in Attack on Titan. Oh, and it can absolutely do fun stuff like video game cartridges. I actually made this generation right here. It's just crazy how much detail it's able to capture. Oh yeah, here is a nice gory photo here. There's blood everywhere and it's all over SpongeBob, which is nice. Yeah, this is totally possible inside of Dolly 3. That's it's insane. I can't believe how uncensored it is. Like, it's pretty crazy. This is pretty much me. We've got this uh, lemon character pop art style, and he's saying, so, do you like AI? Almost perfect here. The only issue is this extra bubble. Squidward in Five Nights at Freddy's. There is some pretty decent Michael Jackson. The video game screenshots are also something it can do that I really haven't seen other generators be able to replicate. So, I mean, the list goes on here. I could show you so, so many generations, all equally as amazing as one another. Another. But for now, I am going to show you a bunch of images that the community has curated for me. This is essentially what the community thought was the best of the best. Oh, and this is a pretty awesome image of Mike Tyson. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and kick these off. This is bloody zombie Jesus eating a Subway sandwich. So very impressive generation, also very horrifying and somewhat immoral. But yeah, this thing, like I said, it's pretty unrestricted. Walter White as a ninja. Oh, Breaking Bad for the Wii, my favorite game. Check it out. This is from a video game. I don't know which one it is, though. Thor, if he was a giant lemon. I love how it tried to make his helmet fit onto the lemon's head, and it actually kind of works. This is from the Walter White Breaking Bad comic, apparently. He's saying, Jesse, we need coke. 
uh, more blood, as you can see, definitely possible to generate. Rick Astley with an alien never going to give you up written right out on the shirt. <laughs> this is like CCTV footage of uh, Lightning McQueen. Oddly terrifying. I don't know why. Nice little lemon character. Can't go wrong with a nice lemon character, can you? This is a Lakers player. I'm not sure which one. And he seems to be ready to devour cockroaches. Peter Griffin ends up in a Pokemon battle against Mewtwo. Uh, and he seems like he's pretty upset because it says, aw crap, right in the dialogue. <laughs> Michael Jackson as an undead 3D character from a Pixar movie. This is a regeneration of that same serene scene that we originally saw when Dolly 3 was announced. Kratos in The Last of Us. We've got some more CCTV footage of Steve from Minecraft in the mall, and he looks like he's up to no good, I'll be honest. Joker is totally hanging out with Iron Man. They appear to be best friends. This one is shockingly detailed. Looks like it's straight out of a movie. Superman and Batman going at it. Here is a crying, sad little Charmander. Why did my trainer left me? He's so sad. But this does look like it's straight out of the show in the 90s. This looks like an old arcade cabinet, and it's this lemon beast up against SpongeBob. Pretty sick scene of a spaceman breaking in with a bat. Really detailed and incredible looking Sonic. Chill vibes, little lemon dude hanging out on the beach. We got a Porsche, and it says the future is here. Here on the nameplate. Oh, we've got this nice photorealistic duck who seems to be steering around this boat. I don't think I would trust him to do that. This one is a little bit more on the cartoony side, but I think this is a much better gen. Like I said, it understands memes very, very well. Sad McDonald's Pepe flipping burgers. Wonderful flaming cat image. Very mid-journey-esque generation. CCTV footage of two horrifyingly large cats driving a moped. Really nice Sonic fan art-esque drawing saying you're too slow. Oh yeah, that's right. We got the Matt Vidpro jacked imagery. That guys, that is straight up me right there. That's the kind of shirt I wear and that's just what I look like in my lemon form. Absolutely ripped. We got an episode of The Simpsons that's apparently lost with the Terminator in it out to get Homer, but he looks like he's trying to survive. We got some JoJo here. Michael Jackson and SpongeBob playing PS1 or PS2. This is the kind of stuff I love, guys. Kermit is pondering reality in another universe. He can absolutely do puke. Brick wall made out of cow meat. <laughs> this is so stupid. This is Jack Septicai in Naruto. Evil gangsta Mario. I don't I don't even know what to make of this, but this is SpongeBob riding Mr. Krabs as a horse. Make of this what you will, but this is really cool. Invisible egg. Retro style looks like Thanos is trying to recruit Bart Simpson. We've got two variations of these. Really easy stuff like a plush character comes out absolutely perfect. Zero flaws. Horrifying SpongeBob is in your room at night coming to get you. SpongeBob has broken everybody out of jail. Michael Jackson in JoJo. SpongeBob has been elected president. Oh, the, the Benadryl cake. This is exactly the cake that I want on my 30th birthday. Mmm, I bet it tastes just like Benadryl. Delicious. I love this CCTV footage stuff. This is horrifying. Anime girl trapped inside of a bottle. My Little Pony versus Shrek. This is a, a war I'd probably want to watch. This was demanded to be added in. 69 funny number, and he's holding it up to the ring door cam. This looks very real. Again, stuff you'd expect it to be good at. It absolutely definitely is. Kermit discovers God. And Gengar says, subscribe to Matt Pro. Why don't you do that right now? 3D animated characters. We already saw this. They look incredible. Seems to be a follow-up from the previous Kermit post. Absolutely can generate famous YouTubers. Anatomy of a Nokia phone. Markiplier eats a taco. This is an example of how accurate it gets. Based on the description of a real person, it's able to generate a character that has a lot of the same attributes. It can be very specific and it will be very accurate to that prompt. This stuff was all really cool. Looks like straight up old screenshots of video games. Really, really weirdly specific and totally looks like it's from the PS2 era of video games. Not much else to be said other than I am super impressed by all of these. I imagine that the prompts had to be very specific. Oh, this time the lemons are in the forest, really enjoying themselves. SpongeBob has no idea what the earth is. Kermit, no, please don't. Patrick doesn't know any better. He doesn't deserve this. I mean, obviously a tomato is going to look good. Oh, Disney Plus and chill, guys. Subscribe today. Like I said, absolutely can do more inappropriate and illicit stuff. Got another example of that right here. Famous characters totally are inside of Dolly 3. You just have to 
eke them out. This is a pretty metal photo of Darth Vader, I must say. This is probably my favorite photo of Albert Einstein I've ever seen. This dude is dripped out, man. Definitely get Matt VidPro 3D for your N64 today. Looks like a solid game. Man, the art style variations are just insane. So much cool stuff is possible with this. Ah, The Emperor. This is, this is the one that I missed out of the Godfather series. My favorite. Shrek wearing a shirt with my name on it, of course. Shout out to Fox Platt for this one trying to make my name in the clouds. This is pretty stellar and very, very close. As you can see, depending on the style, it does struggle with text. Oh, and thank you to my community, guys. I love you guys, too. This lemon dude knows what's up. Weightlifting banana with a funny quote right at the bottom. And as I said, it can do some more risque stuff like this cute anime girl only in shorts. And I'll be honest, guys, the list here goes on and on and on. I couldn't possibly show you everything that my community has generated. But if you go to my Discord server, you can absolutely see hundreds and hundreds of more photos just like this. Moral of the story, Dolly 3 has more untapped potential than any image generation model we've ever seen before and we can all get access to it for free so this is this is absolutely nuts check out my other videos check out the server and i will see you in the next one goodbye